How so guys this is another little video to uh, in uh, replacement of my other video that I made because uh, the quality on the other one is not that good so here I have my tank here the rising tube is here and the height of my rising tube is 17 inch and a half and the inside is 6 inches the outside here is 11 inch and 1 quarter and the height from the bottom of the tank here to the top right here to this corner is 19 inch and a half and my gap between here and the rising tube is about 2 inch the gap from the top here is four inch and a half from this to here and the height total height of my water tank is 22 inches and I was uh, saying on my uh, other video I was reaching a thousand degrees right here and the reason I'm reaching a thousand degrees here I checked I was all leveled up and uh, the thing is the tank was not center with the tube the tube was more close here so more hot air or flame hits here I centered it and now it's all right temperature is equal all around and I'm still reaching a thousand degrees all around guys but uh, somebody asked me why you you don't want to reach thousand degrees this is not a metal that is made for stove and the metal is not a, it's a good quality metal but not for stove it's quality for making stove is a T they call that T1 and I don't want to damage this part here uh, five six hundred degrees is pretty hot enough and my temperature when I reach a thousand degrees in the top around here I have four hundred and rising up to uh, around a uh, one thousand around here but if I have around six hundred here I still have around four hundred in the metal so it's quite plenty and uh, too much high temperature will damage the uh, rising tube too so that's the reason why I'm not I don't I do not want to reach thousand degrees for nothing there and uh, I don't know if the quality will be better on this cam my my uh, this is the let's say this is the front and the back of the stove from the front to this notch here and it's equal to this to my burning chamber here is 21 inch and one quarter from here to the top it's 18 and three quarters it's gonna be hard wait move this this way again and uh, from here to here I have 21 uh, 20 inch and a half and uh, my exit ear is 4 inch my rising tube ear is 6 inch diameter by 11 inch and 1 quarter and my water tank is 16 inch and the little ring that I made around it is 16 by 18 and inside here this chamber here is 4 inch and 1 quarter square and from here to here it's six inch and a half the walls here are two inch thick the top top walls the the bottom walls inside the chamber here is four inch thick on each side and the uh, it's 40 inch long my uh, my stove <coughs> here inside my stove I did a pipe that comes along the the chamber here and it's inside around here 
for air intake and uh, this is the rising tube here and I did it centered this chamber here arrive uh, in the rising tube dead center here but here it's climbing up to four inch and one quarter when I did the casting here so when the flame came it turns and go up and it's really making that nice uh, vortex inside here so if I have a chance I will a chance I will film this to show you guys and this is the burning chamber rising tube and uh, just a little picture here and this is a side view of the stove uh, you still have here the rising tube the tank here that's what I was talking about my burning chamber is here and flame comes up and rise and then go up the tube here I redraw uh, I put this ear here but it's not underneath that's the air that goes out here the smoke and I redraw it last time was here and here inside the burning chamber here with vermiculite and cement the cement that I use is not that tough and vermiculite is standing the heat but not the cement it's all kind of I told you I would tell you the ups and down I'm gonna put a wall of brick here in front and all around to uh, minimize the damage that the heat is causing inside here inside everything is all right but it's in front here it's getting so hot so I'm gonna put bricks and flame will just go in and it might not damage that much but uh, overall uh, my stove I pretty like it and it's working pretty fine and um, the wall of the stove uh, stays around 80 degrees and it's cool but inside the flame here when I make some fire it's get really really intense high heat and I need to seal to my wall all around because air is leaking in and I have difficulties controlling my burn temperature gets too hot on top here so I want to next time I think I'm gonna build my stove the same way but here in front I'm gonna put the metal plate all in front here and build a door in front I have metal rod inside so I could just get them soldered here in front and uh, I think the next stove I'm gonna build is gonna be a door in front here and the cover is here is going to be uh, all sealed up and I'm gonna put uh, this tube here is gonna be uh, I'm gonna still cast vermiculite but I'm gonna make a wall with bricks fire bricks and same thing inside here I will do fire bricks but the outside is going to be vermiculite all around because it's a really really good insulator and I'm able to get really really high temperature in here and up here too so and uh, I'm going to try to find instead of a water tank like I said the uh, metal that's going to be a T1 metal so I could uh, the tube would last longer here but uh, overall everything is fine guys so uh, if you have questions don't uh, be uh, shy put them down and if you have comments same thing I'll try to answer them if I don't have the answer I'll try to find them for you so thanks for watching have a good day